Hi everyone and welcome back to the channel. If you're new here, I'm your host Stefan Burns. Today's video is just a brief space weather dialogue and update, but before that I would like to announce that the big birthday blowout bargain bonanza sale is now live because today is my birthday. I'm turning 33 and so I want to give back to everyone. And so I have the Wild Free Organic Store fully stocked up. It's never had so many items in it and they're all at discount 15% using the code birthday bonanza, all one word. So the earthing shoes are finally in. I've been working on these for over six months. I've been searching for the ultimate earthing shoe for more than five years. I found it right here. They are available through my website, men's and women's. Also, I have four different tea blends available, including spirituality, but also the OG tranquility, electricity, and vitality tea blends are in stock and quite a lot of them. So check that out. And I have a children's book. If you didn't know, I wrote a children's book a few years back and now it is available once more. One Good Turtle, a children's book about bullying. And so these are all available on the website for 15% off using the code bargain bonanza. I'll talk about them more in depth after we talk about space weather. So here we have our C3 chronograph view. This is set for today and we see this nice, very nice full halo CME here. We are eight hours out of date for this imagery at this moment in time. And so this is eight hours behind. So we see this expand out quite a lot and that's why we don't have newer imagery showing the full expansion. This is a far side halo CME. So there was no associated solar flare on the earth facing side. Solar activity has been fairly quiet just in the past 24 hours though we just got through a lot. I was talking to my mom on the phone and she finally connected the dots as to certain things that she's been feeling in the week of heavy geomagnetic volatility that we've had. And so this is a far side, uh, very large kernel mass ejections, not gonna be impacting us, but I want to talk a little bit today about what happened yesterday, which was the unexpected kernel mass ejection impact because regular viewers, as you know, that was not unexpected. That was really just bad journalism and reporting from a lot of people. And so it's okay to make mistakes. I make mistakes and I think it's important to admit when you made a wrong call or a mistake or you learned something new and to update everything. But I am not seeing that with a lot of the space weather community as of yesterday. And this is important because now us accurately knowing when there's going to be a solar storm impact in a geomagnetic storm is very important, not only for our individual health and wellness and just some for the collective energies, the collective consciousness, but because now space is a multi-billion dollar industry. And when you have a geomagnetic storm, you have a lot in a solar storm impact, you have a lot more drag on satellites and you can have a lot more re-entries. That's what happened in May with the great G5 geomagnetic storm. And so when you say there's gonna be no storm impact and then there is, that is really not doing your due diligence, especially when there is plenty of evidence suggesting that there is going to be. And so it's really the absolutism that I would just like to point out today because this is, my ethos is really about disseminating truth and the possibilities and informing and educating people, not walking a strict line. So let's talk about it. Here we have our real-time solar wind data for the past 30 days. And what you'll notice is that we've had quite a lot of geomagnetic activity, especially back here early in August, we had a G4 storm. And you'll notice that up top, our interplanetary magnetic field, black line total field strength went pretty high. It went in between 20 and 30 nanotesla, whereas the average field strength is about five nanotesla. You'll also notice the southward component, the red line, sharply went negative, which is a condition needed typically to have a strong geomagnetic storm because this allows the magnetic fields to connect, the solar wind magnetic field, Earth's magnetic field, then you have this injection of energy and you have all the effects associated with a geomagnetic storm. So we had this G4 storm back here in August. You'll notice we had a quick uh, G3 storm, really more like a G2, but a quick storm there following. And then we had these storms here. This was a quick G2 followed by a very long G1 storm and kind of like unsettled G0 conditions. And then we see our most recent bump here, which on the HP30 index, 
did go to six for 30 minutes. And on the HP60 index, there was quite a few hours where we were in G1 storming conditions. But I want you to notice our solar wind conditions here. We had this spike there going from about 10 nanotesla, already an enhancement of the solar wind, because there was some earlier solar activity that was launched our way that was also not reported on, enhancing the solar wind strength. It went from 10 to about 25 or so. And that's very significant. That's the same field strength as this G4 storm that we had right here. This is also underestimated. This was expected to be like a G2, maybe a G3. It was a G4. So the point is that when these coronal mass ejections happen from the sun and there are different features, it behooves us to really analyze everything and explore all possibilities and to do it from an independent mindset and not just to repeat what someone else says because this could have been a G4 storm. Now it subsided pretty quick, but the reason we didn't have a significant geomagnetic storm here is because the southward component of the interplanetary magnetic field stayed very positive. It did not switch into that negative polarity. And so it mostly brushed off the earth, but there's no reason why it could not have been sharply negative and to have the right characteristics to couple with the earth, especially right now, as we get close to the equinox period in eclipse season, where we have a greater geomagnetic connection to the solar wind. That could have been a G3 or a G4 storm. And that has serious ramifications for a lot of different industries and then also just at a collective and personal level. And so when you have headlines like this, no coronal mass ejections are headed for earth, which are these absolute statements I think that's a disservice to the community at large and also to just a lot of professionals and a lot of industries out there. Now, I don't want to pick on spaceweather.com. I think they're great. I love how they curate a whole bunch of different amateur photography and scientific papers and things of this nature together. But we have to remain open to other possibilities and look at things critically because when we looked at that coronal mass ejection that was launched on September 1st, it very clearly had this flux lobe that bulged out and then shot towards the Earth. At least some of that coronal mass ejection was Earth directed. And that's what we saw. We saw a we saw a portion of that coronal mass ejection impact the Earth, and it was quite strong at 25 nanotesla for that solar wind strength. But this doesn't leave any room for the possibility of an impact. And then if you go to September 4th, all of a sudden the headline is unexpected coronal mass ejection impact. No, it wasn't unexpected. It's just maybe there wasn't enough analysis done and enough good journalism. And so I'm new to this. I'm, in, I'm, I'm, I'm breaking into this field. I have not been doing this forever. I don't know everything, but there were only a few people who accurately called that. And the conversation I was having with someone yesterday is that, you know, the devil is in the details. And when someone gets something wrong or some group gets something wrong because they simply just didn't take the time to examine things closely you lose a lot of respect for that group or that person in the process. And it's hard to regain that. And so my ethos in general is to be that person that looks at those details and is able to give you the big picture and is willing to admit when they're wrong and is willing to admit when they make mistakes and willing to admit when they learn something new that could challenge prior things I've said, things of that nature. I've done that before on the channel. Any long-term viewer knows those instances but you know, this headline wasn't, hey, there was no recognition of, hey, we got it wrong, right? It was just, oh, now it's unexpected. And so it's just further gaslighting. And this is in general, a problem we have in society. And so I wanted to highlight that for everyone's attention because as we continue through solar maximum, these solar storms are going to continue to be very frequent. And we have all the way till 2027, 2028, that descending phase of solar cycle 25 until things are cooling off. And these have very real health consequences too. And so there are other people, this is just one group, one organization, maybe one person, right? There are other people that are very respected in this that gave no warning or heads up or even entertaining the thought that there was gonna be a coronal mass ejection impact yesterday. We were lucky the characteristics were such that it only triggered a G1 storm, but it could have been much stronger. And I just, I just think we need better journalism on this. Also, just to let you know, we are still in that proton radiation storm. We see our seven day view of proton flux as measured by the GOES geostationary satellite at 5.6 Earth radii. 
we see how that chronal acid ejection that was launched on September 1st brought up the greater than one mega electron volt protons by more than order of magnitude. Now it's starting to subside, but it's still elevated. And this is quite a long duration increase in proton flux, meaning that there is just a continuous enhancement of energy here on our planet. We had these other ones bump up from a far side chrome mass ejection just off the western limb. They've come back down now, but clearly that was a very special dynamic chronal mass ejection that was launched from Sunspot Group 3813 because this proton flux is still elevated, it's still coming in more. This is like three, four, nearly four days now of enhanced proton flux from a single event, you know, bolstered up just a little bit by that one as well. And so I don't know how long this will continue, but we have those sunspot groups now rotating into the Earth Direct Bullseye Strike Zone. Let's give that a look. Here is our 4K magnetogram view of the sun showing all the solar flux, mostly concentrated in the Southern Hemisphere, though we do have a new big sunspot group rotating in in the Northern Hemisphere, finally kind of bringing back some balance to the magnetic flux of the sun across the hemispheres. But we see this whole group right here. This is 3813, it's kind of spread out now, and then 3811 forming this long, long, trail of solar flux that's all now moving into this earth direct strike zone and then we have these other sunspot groups that are rotating out so just in general right now heightened chance of flares and solar storms being launched our way perhaps if there are big solar flares because of all these sunspots uh, and they're quite dynamic if we look if we punch in on uh, 3813 right there you can see that these polarities are quite strong, you know, dark colors to them. And there's quite a lot of these different cores and there's a lot of mingling too. We see that just spread out throughout. So really a lot of potential for strong solar storms over the next week. And we, we just had that far side chrome mass ejection. If that sunspot remains the same or strengthens, and that is another big player that will be rotating in view. We're in solar maximum, folks. This is what we got for the next two years. I'll keep you up to date with integrity and honesty and an attention to detail. So please subscribe if you'd like to see more of this. And now for the big birthday bargain blowout bonanza. I have so many things stocked in the Wild Free Organic store now, which I have been wanting to offer you for a while, but life situations just weren't uh, ready for that. So we have all the different tea blends. We finally have the earthing shoes and we have my One Good Turtle book, plus also my eBooks and eCourses that are already on the website. So you can go to wildfreeorganic slash store to see all the different uh, products and they are all 15% off until the end of Sunday. And so we talked about space weather and some of these uh, factors at play in terms of like journalism and you know how people can kind of follow along and sometimes their ego gets in the way of them just admitting things. And so my ethos very much is truthfulness and attention to detail and empowering people self-empowerment but also like you know collective empowerment giving helping people to self-actualize and raise their consciousness and so that is what this store is all about i mean earthing is fantastic for your health and wellness but it's also amazing for uh, your spiritual growth and for enhancing your consciousness because by like harmonizing to the earth and her energy fields you facilitate this natural evolution. And then these tea blends here, for example, like these are all organic from like one of the best suppliers, the best supplier I could find, all organic herbs, uh, most of them grown in the United States, just loose leaf and at a good price. Whereas I went to one store and they were offering uh, one ounce of blue lotus flower for $22. This has one ounce of blue lotus flower in it, along with three ounces of other herbs, mugwort, passion flower, and chamomile, four ounces total. I'm selling this for 33 bucks. And so, you know, integrity is really important. And that's, I, I don't have this store filled out with a whole bunch of stuff because I wanted to make sure the things I provide are things that I use, things that I've made. I mixed and made all these myself, right? I wrote this children's book myself. And so I think, a lot of you are really going to resonate uh, with what I have here on the store and I encourage you to go check it out right now because everything is on the 15% birthday bonanza sale discount. Um, so just want to quickly start with the earthing shoes because this is the, the item that a lot of people have been waiting for forever 
and I have like a five plus year journey as it relates to earthing. Um, this is one of those things that I started to learn about just because I've always been into nature as a Boy Scout, Eagle Scout. And then uh, as I got into health and wellness more, gut health, things of this nature, I learned about earthing and being a geolog geologist and geophysicist, I'm like, that's really cool. Then I learned about the Schumar residences and went on from there. So I've tried almost all the different shoes, minimalist shoes, barefoot shoes, uh, like Vibrams, you have Vivos, you have Earth Runners. There's a whole bunch of different types, but they all I found usually had like some sort of, not a critical flaw, but something that set them back and they're all super expensive. And the soles were wearing out all the time. Most of them have, like all of them have rubber soles and these earthing shoes are all natural, 100%. And so this is a water buffalo bottom that is quite thick and it's actually more durable than rubber because rubber likes to stick and have traction and so it likes to rip off, you could say, like, you know, a road off. Whereas this uh, leather, once you wear them in, they're still quite uh, grippy, but it doesn't have the same grip as rubber and so it doesn't wear off at the sole as easily. They last a long time. I walked all around uh, Asia and Europe in my earthing boots. They're back home right now um, and they look great. It molds to your foot because it's natural leather. And so if it's a little too large, it'll widen for your foot. If it's a little too big, it'll kind of like mold around your foot. It'll take on the curve of your foot, your arch. And because this is leather, it is completely conductive. And so you, you have the copper plug for the K1 Meridian right here, which is great for facilitating energy alignment and flow through your chakras, through your Meridian system. But the entire sole is conductive your entire foot has nerve endings on it, not just this one tiny little point. And so if this is rubber, yeah, you'll have an earthing effect if you have the plug, but the earthing effect is so much greater when you have the entire sole conductive. There's a woman's shoe as well. Make sure you check that out. I mean, there it is right there. It looks fantastic. I would have them, but I gave them to my friend Laura who did the, the photo shoot. I can click this so you can see uh, some of the uh, photos. And she said that this shoe felt like um, wearing warm hugs on her feet. And she's an energy sensitive, Reiki healer, yoga certified. She's awesome. Uh, and she said that she felt the earthing effect immediately. You know, right now I'm back on the East Coast. I'm sleeping in my earthing tent. So I'm earthing all the time. Uh, but I noticed an effect too. I love going barefoot. If you can't go barefoot, these are the next best thing. And the workmanship is fantastic. See the logo on the inside. I went to the factory twice in Turkey to make sure that these are the real deal, to see how they're made, talk to everybody, you know, chit chat just in general, introduce myself and to make a few different alternative designs and give optimizations and everything. So those other models will be coming out soon, but we're launching with the basic models. And so this is great for like gardening. If you want to wear some shoes while gardening, but still be earthing. If it's a hot day, now you can wear it. Uh, instead of, you know, struggling to go barefoot because it's just too hot out. You can also still be grounding and look stylish while like in the city or at town or at the supermarket, uh, farmer's market, whatever. These shoes are awesome and I'm so happy to have found this group and to be working with them now because this earthing shoe journey and like really a natural barefoot shoe journey was this big overarching theme for a long time, like reclaiming natural foot health and toe splay and having zero drop and, you know, wide toe box and natural materials. It was like there was always something that was this one thing that wasn't checked on the box. You know, I have this attention to details. It's my birthday, I'm a Virgo. Uh, and so that's really important for me. And so these do it. Now, these tea blends I custom made uh, over the past couple years, because one of my things I like to do, as a lot of you know, is I'm an herbalist. And I like to experiment with different herbs and to uh, create different blends and experience the health benefits and effects of that. And so the original three blends I created were Tranquility, Vitality, and Electricity, which is right here. This is your uh, coffee alternative with less caffeine, but it contains yerba mate and ginkgo. So you get the focus and the neuro uh, benefits of that. Also lemongrass and peppermint for optimizing your microbiome, gut, brain, consciousness axis. And then also calendula, which is just a nice uplifting herb. Uh, electricity is awesome. You have tranquility, the OG blend, which is specifically formulated for gut health because it contains 
dandelion, chamomile, also lemongrass. Uh, then it has calendula as well for that bright uplifting flavor and then lavender to help like calm and relax you down. So it's also great for de-stressing, for relaxing, for creativity, for sleep. If you really want something that's great for sleep, spirituality is the blend for you. Also a very strong activator of the parasympathetic nervous system, but it contains a very special formulation of blue lotus flower, of uh, mugwort, of chamomile, and of passion flower, which are the four herbs that I found work together synergistically to enhance dreams, to enhance your connection to spirit, to aid in meditation and sound healings and yoga. And uh, some people even reported an enhancement in, let's say, like astral travel and psychic abilities. So uh, your mileage may vary, but at the very least, it will help you to rest and relax. And this is the premier tea blend that everyone keeps buying like crazy. I can't keep it in stock. So please limit your order to just one if you can so others can get a chance to try it out as well. Lastly, oh, also pretty good aphrodisiac right here, the blue lotus flower, all right? There's whole flowers in here too, like whole blue lotus flowers are in here in addition to stuff that I, you know, personally, uh, you know, kind of ground up by hand. And then vitality is like more the premier aphrodisiac pleasure enhancer, libido booster, hormone balancer, because it contains ashwagandha, it contains ulutheru, which is Siberian ginseng, contains damiana, also uh, rose petals and hibiscus, or some color and some flavor. And so this is really an amazing tea blend. Uh, the Vitality, let's go back here. I think I can do that. Yeah, so the Vitality is really amazing, and I recommend, if you're into herbalism and all this stuff, I recommend you pick up one of each uh, because of the sale right now. Uh, they will stay in stock though with time as, as once I get back to California, I'll be able to keep them in stock easier. So this is really the beginning of a wild free organic store that will stay in stock. These shoes are now available permanently. It's not that they don't, they don't go out of stock. And I would also like to let you know about my um, children's book that I wrote. This was written back in about 2018, 2019. And it was a family project. My dad had this phrase pop into his head, which was the phrase, one good turtle. And turtles are my favorite animal. And he told me about that. And he just had this feeling that he should, like this should be a children's book of some sort. And it resonated with me. And I ended up that night writing the entire first draft of one good turtle. It just kind of flowed out of me. My sister also helped with this. She's into marketing and PR and everything. And so for about 18 months, we worked on creating this children's book. And I really think that Spirit channeled this to us and then brought it into my sphere so it could be manifested. This book is about bullying and how to overcome bullying. It's based a lot on my own personal journey overcoming that in high school, uh, middle school, but more high school um, because it's a complex subject. and as someone that is very much a pacifist and wants to stand for peace, right? I don't want to have to like punch someone and inflict the damage that they want to inflict upon you, right? I don't think that's the way. And so this, this shares how I was able to overcome bullying through this children's book format um, in a peaceful way, just through self-empowerment and actualization and um, standing up for yourself, but in a very p peaceful way. And so the illustrations are fantastic. Uh, amazing illustrations by Stephanie Fliss and we worked so so hard on this and if you have any kids they'll love this this is like ages five to up uh, but I mean a lot of adults love this book uh, when I first released this my buddy Danny he like cried after reading it he just thought it was so beautiful and how I made this children's book really just like resonate with him and he's a big old softy uh, so this is also available um, so you can get this on the store one book, a few books. If you want to buy 20 or more, then just reach out to me at wildfreeorganic.com slash contact because uh, we do have entire boxes of 20 at a time and we'll get that figured out for you. But these are all the things available in the store right now. Additionally, also, uh, we have the Holistic Gut Health Guide, which is still on sale for 24% off through all of Virgo season. So if you're just interested in improving your gut health this Virgo season, the Holistic Gut Health Guide is the thing for you. We can see some of the different close-ups on these herbs by going uh, by going here, right? Let me, I have to step over here. There's Tranquility, and here are the other two. 
Uh, so you can see just how high quality these herbs are. They're really fantastic and this isn't any dusting. That's the thing. So many manufacturers, they put the best ingredient as like number five on the list. And like, so with Tranquility, the best ingredient in here is the dandelion root. It's ingredient number one, right? It's the first thing on the list. I don't skimp. Spirituality, first ingredient, blue lotus flower. It shouldn't be the fifth ingredient. It shouldn't just be a sprinkle in there. It's the real thing. Again, like this is such an amazing value, but it's it's just, it's the right thing to do to offer this at reasonable prices for people um, and at super high quality. And it's just really, it was just me threading the needle, finding the right manufacturer, talking to them and, you know, making it all work out. And I make these myself, which uh, saves a lot of time and energy from the, the bigger vantage point. So I hope you find everything in the Wild Free Organic store valuable and useful and supportive on your soul consciousness evolution journey. You know, this, this uh, spiritual ascension that we're all going through, this is really what this store is about and what everything I offer is about through my YouTube, the blog on here, all these products. Uh, there'll be a lot more supportive things like this coming out for people that have a focus on natural and high quality materials. And so just keep your eye on this store, check back over time. But right now there's a lot of things in stock and all on sale with the code birthday bonanza, everything 15% off. So I hope you find something there that you like. Happy to uh, you know, support you with that. Today on my birthday, me shining my light outwards and helping everyone as best as I can. So thank you all so much. And thank you all for like joining the channel, for watching this video, for being part of the Soul Tribe. We're nearly at 100,000 subscribers, which is insane when I think about it because I still feel like this YouTube channel is back at 500 subs a few years ago. It really doesn't feel all that different. And so just feeling so grateful and supported and loved by everyone and just blessings to all of you. Really, it makes a world of difference for me that this YouTube channel now exists the way it, the way it does exist. And so just... Um, just want to share that with you. It just really, uh, really makes, it really makes everything. So I'm just feeling so loved and blessed and supported today on my birthday. And I hope you're feeling these good vibes as well that I'm sharing with you. So thank you all. Wishing you well. See you all in the next video.